Most importantly, we are starting in a society where achieving measurable results has become the world's rallying cry. Where kids who tell their parents that they want to be artists are too often met with quizzical glances, worried sighs, or dismissive reproaches. It's not that parents think artists are bad people. It's that they think becoming one is somehow dangerous for their children's future livelihood. Dangerous? I don't think so. Do you? What's missing today is the notion that artists and designers are among the most passionate people about what they do. And this world needs more passion. There's too much logic, too much systematic thinking, too many soulless business processes dominating people's lives. But we here at RISD have always known that humanity is about doing crazy, unexpected, wonderfully impossible things. As Steve Jobs says, here's to the crazy ones. The ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. That's us. And together, we need to assume our responsibility as an advocate for the inspired, as a champion of the beautiful, as a collective voice that will build a justifiable case for creativity in our world. Let me tell you a story. 75 years ago, MIT, my previous home, was just another technology trade school. Then, World War II happened, and the government needed to create more effective weaponry and systems to win the war. MIT was given a purpose, and that purpose was to save America. Suddenly, resources that scientists could never have dreamed of began to be thrown their way and MIT became the preeminent research institute that it is today. But even with that war long over, the conventional wisdom that science and engineering are critical to American invention still lingers. But there's something missing. What if we are at a similar stage in the world's development? What if there's one art and design school out there that can elevate a new set of skills that are crucial to our continued livelihood. Global conflict still embattles us, but separately, our civilian lives are being swallowed by a sea of complexity and overload. I feel it. I'm sure you do too. What if the new form of American invention that will solve these problems isn't a machine or technology anymore, but is invention of a feeling, the right feeling, an emotional experience articulated in the principles of art and design. What if RISD is the one institution that will rise above all other art and design schools in the world to place creativity at the core, central to the global agenda, the way that MIT did for technology. The way that MIT did for technology, RISD will do for creativity. The world is at a turning point, and the passionate, emotional invention that happens here every day, from the graduate studios downtown to South Main Street up to Woods Gary, is what is needed to keep today's America thriving. The new conventional wisdom must recognize the essential nature of right brain innovation, and policymakers and employers should take note. It's up to us to make the case to the world of the power of the visual, the tactile, the nonlinear, of artful, open minded thinking. So, starting here, all together, we will create the educational foundations that will make America's economy a truly creative economy. We will consider the questions that are being asked of us about technology, 
about rising economies and worldwide innovation, about the role of higher education in this world. And we will answer them in RISD's own way. How we do that? By tapping into the passions that already exist in our RISD and ensuring that our doors are wide open to gifted students around the world. Each of us sees RISD from our own perspective and came here with our own aspirations. However, what we share is a desire to live successful, creative lives of all sorts, leaving our mark on the world and on everyone around us. As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, human salvation lies in the hands of a creatively maladjusted. Creatively maladjusted. Sounds like RISD. <laughs> to achieve this, let's take strength from all that is around us and exploit all of the glorious natural diversity that lives right here at RISD. Let's take strength from the studio and the classroom, from fine arts and design, from liberal arts and foundational studies, from the museum and the college, from the students who live here, and faculty who teach here, and staff who work here, and trustees who honor here, and alumni who love here. From our dual mission of creating new work and preserving and honoring old work. Let's work across all of these lines for a common purpose. Let's start here and show the world what our passion can do. We can start and finish here. The creative mind is not limited to black and white. It is comfortable with ambiguity and doing both, as I like to say. You can be both a designer and an artist, a humanist and a technologist, a student and a teacher, a handcraftsman and a Photoshop guru, a global and local thinker, a leader and a servant, a president and a citizen. And we can start as many times as we like when we are open to the spirit and rigor of the creative way of being. So, here's my question for you. Will you open your minds and your hearts and your hands and start here with me? Thank you.